Another room with a view. Mm, mm. But more importantly, there's a nice little hill down there. Okay, let's see if I can start on this hill all by myself. It's not a very steep hill. I have a few obstacles to get over first. Okay, let's go. First obstacle is make sure the road's clear. <laughs> Second obstacle is inertia, obviously. Right. Okay, we're going. We're sailing. Ooh. A little bit sketchy. Never mind. Here's what it is. And I wouldn't need to be taking risks like this if I was still solvent. So, there you go. It's my responsibility absolved. Right. How fast are we going? Hmm. Nothing. Still going downhill though. Ignition on. Looks like the hill's getting a bit steeper soon. This is intense in a very slow way. Okay, well that's as good as it's going to get. I'm going to try third. Bastard. I'm going to try second. Oh ho ho. Right, bit of downhill here. I'm going to try first. I know it's a lot of torque. Go. Ah. Right, leave it run. Bollocks. As good as it's gonna get. Oh, you. Fourth be better? No. Right, that's it, the hill's over. Oh, dear. It's going to be like this. Every day until hmm, July's dole. Wow. Just had a cave in. <laughs> oh, it's not funny, is it? I just had a cave in. All this stuff oh, I jammed up into that corner just just fell fell down. Oh. 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 I'm beginning to wonder. Or maybe I just didn't have enough sleep. But maybe some of my problems are of my own origin. No, wait, wait, no, you can't beat yourself up about this, Tim. You can't beat yourself up about this. You know what's happening and why. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh. 
but I can see how, you know, just little things start to get on top of you and then you get one small problem, it's the last straw, and then you blame yourself for it. It's a nasty little turn of events. Can happen in your head. Ah. Oh. Oh. I won't deny it, I am at a low point, and I'm not seeing the funny side of it. And, uh, I used to be one of these people where if something funny was happening, I'd laugh at it at the time rather than later. And right now, I'm struggling to see the funny side of a man reduced to living in a small van after 35 years working and then he gets a cave-in because I was in a bit of a hurry to dig out a toolbox and some jump leads yesterday and then didn't have time to put it all back tidy and I just shoved it all in the corner and now it's caved in okay it's quite a small thing yeah, okay, it's a small problem. I'm over it. All right. Now I'm going to sweat the big stuff. I just have to accept that that last attempt to tidy the van was a failure. And that I'm not the failure. Have I failed? Have I failed? Have I burned out? Have I just waited and waited and waited and now it hasn't happened and have to accept that now is the best things will ever be and they just get darker and worse and more horrifying? Oh... So, you may have noticed I'm going on a slightly different tack with my reality checks now. It's no longer about warning people about what's happening or going to happen. The bio war has already happened and it's been either won or lost on an individual level because uh, this war was fought on a microscopic level. Yeah, you can't see it, you can't hear it. You'll know when it happens. <laughs> so now, it's no longer about warning. This is about those who wish to survive what's coming next. Yeah, that's my main focus of this. Oh, and a bit of sloth comedy and... Uh, yeah, tourism, you know, just to provide the cover story for what is really my main interest is survival. Huh? Yeah. If you've been injected, forget about that bit. The rest of you, hmm, let's get through this, eh? Uh -huh. Okay, the wheels are coming off it now. Time for some spray glue. Hmm. Hold that up with uh, my camping chair. Ah, the starter motor's gone. Just got just enough room to go down there. If I don't pass my MOT in three months' time. Wow, it's going to be a tent in the forest, isn't it? <laughs>